Welcome back to We're Reading Virtual Storytime's National Library Week Stories for April 5th, 2021. Our Library by Eve Bunting, illustrated by Maggie Smith. Miss Goose stamped my library book. She leaned across her desk. Our library is going to close forever, she whispered. Oh no, I said, why? It's too old. It needs a new roof and new paint, Miss Goose said sadly. Hmm, I said. We checked out two books, How to Lay a Perfect Roof and Library Painting for Beginners. We read by day and we read by night. The next morning we got started. We laid a perfect roof. We painted the library buttercup yellow with sky blue trim and a grass green door. Beautiful, we said. It is beautiful, said Miss Goose, but it takes a lot of money to run a library. We don't have a lot of money. Hmm, I said. We checked out a book, How to Make Money Fast. We read by day and we read by night. Then we had a bake sale and an art sale and we sold candy door to door. Oh my, Miss Goose said, that is a lot of money. But Weasel owns the ground the library sits on and he wants it back. He can sell the land for even more money. We were flummoxed. How will we learn without a library? Mouse asked. We'll be ignorant, Skunk said. And an ignorant skunk is a very sad skunk indeed. Hmm, I said. Remember that it's the library we love, not the land it sits on. Let's find a book. How to move from one place to another. We read by day and we read by night, and then we looked for the perfect place for our library. We're going to move it to Buttercup Meadow, we told Miss Goose. Oh my, she said. Old Beaver owns Buttercup Meadow. He's a grumpy fellow, and he won't want to give up that meadow. His little grandson plays there every day. I rubbed my chin. Hmm, you say he has a little grandson. Then and there we picked out two books, Read to Your Grandkids and How to Speak Wisely and Well to Grumpy Old Beavers, new and updated. We read by day and we read by night. We looked at the pictures. We thought hard. Then we went to see Old Beaver in his lodge on Puddle Pond. What do you want, he asked. He was grumpy all right. Rabbit turned tail and ran. But I spoke up, wisely and well. Sir, I said, the library is closing. We would like to move it to your beautiful meadow. No, Old Beaver grunted, grumpier than ever. We know you have a grandson, I went on. I was fearful but determined. Where will he get books to read? With books to read, he'll grow up smart, Skunk said. And interesting, Squirrel added. And I'll have fun, I told Old Beaver. And reading is something that grandparents and grandchildren can do together. Hmm, said Old Beaver. I opened the book I'd brought. Look! Old Beaver peered at the picture. Those are ducks, he said. A grandfather duck and his grandson, I said. And here's a baby chipmunk with his grandma. Old Beaver scowled. No beavers? Not yet, I told him, thinking quickly. We could send a picture to the publisher. We waited. Old Beaver slapped the deck with his broad, flat tail. We waited some more. At last he smiled. Oh, all right, he said. Let me get my grandson so we can take a picture. The next day, all of us and some grown-ups too, got together and moved the library. Our library now sits in the meadow. Buttercups drift around its buttercup yellow walls. Its grass green door is always open and the sky above it is mostly sky blue. On rainy days, we stay cozy inside. On sunny days, we lie in the shade of a big whispering oak tree and read. We have story hour and parents bring their little ones. Old Beaver and his grandson come in the afternoon after they've had their naps. They look so content together. Mole has taken lots of pictures of them. And Miss Goose has found several books about beavers for the library. 
Badger didn't know how to read, so we're teaching him. Gopher lies on the grass and kicks up his legs. There's nothing you can't learn to do when you have books, he says. Porcupine smooths down her quills. If you can read, she adds. I smile, and it's even better if you have a library. The End